Hello, everybody. This is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In our previous software release, we made some changes to the path of insertion and generation of undercut models, which caused some confusion for some of our users. So we have received feedback from our fantastic Blue Sky Plan user base. Based on that feedback, we have updated the software and come out with an improved updated release. I'm going to explain what changes were made in the previous release, what changes were made in this release and how everything works. In older releases, the path of insertion was set to zero, meaning the undercuts were removed perfectly perpendicular to the horizontal base of the model, and there was no option to change that. In the previous release, we changed the default to be 30 degrees, and we allowed the user to customize the path of insertion on a per case situation, and to demonstrate how the undercuts were being removed we generated an undercut model. We could see, first of all, what the default settings are by going to surgical guide and checking default insertion path direction. So as I mentioned, in the previous release, it was set to 30 degrees. Based on user feedback, 30 degrees was too much. In this release, we have updated the default path of insertion to 12 degrees. As I mentioned, in older previous releases, this was automatically set to zero. We didn't, didn't even have this field here and we didn't allow the user to change it. So if you want to restore the functionality based on to what it was previously, you could go ahead and change this to zero. But we recommend keeping that 12 as your default and using that setting. In addition, while we're here, let me mention that in the previous release, we changed the export file format by default to be OBJ. OBJ is kind of a more advanced STL file that contains more information. But again, based on user feedback and compatibility issues with other softwares, we have restored the default back to STL. If you would like the default to be OBJ in your software, then just go ahead and click OBJ. In a previous release, we showed the user the undercut model with the undercuts removed. This added a bit of confusion. So we have updated the functionality. And once again, we do not show the undercut model. Simply, we remove the undercuts behind the scene. We show the user the original model. And then we show the user the surgical guide on the same original model. And we do not show the model with the undercuts removed unless you're in advanced mode and you specifically check a checkbox asking to create the undercut model. So let me demonstrate how the functionality has been updated. We are now in the wizard. I'm going to create the surgical guide curve. Again, this is the original model that was merged with the CT scan. Okay, we now have our surgical guide curve. I'm going to click next. And the result that we see on the screen now is our original model with our surgical guide placed and undercuts have automatically been removed. So to finish the process, you would just click next and finish the final steps of the normal mode works very similar to the wizard and very similar to how it worked in older previous versions. I mean, in normal mode, we could see guide panel, draw curve. I'm going to enlarge my 3D view and draw surgical guide curve. Click create surgical guide. And once again, we now have our surgical guide on our original model with undercuts automatically removed. In advanced mode, we could see where in advanced mode, the user has the ability to create a custom path of insertion. User also has the ability that if they want the software to create an undercut model, user could check the checkbox. So for example, if the user would like to create a custom path of insertion, simply click define insertion direction. We could see that default 12 degrees that we saw previously and preferences default insertion path direction of 12. If we want to change it for the particular case, simply rotate the arrow or orient the model properly in the view and then click define insertion direction from view.
Either way, once the path of insertion has been updated, simply click Draw Curve. Go ahead and draw your curve. And if you would like the software to create an undercut model as a byproduct, check the checkbox. First, let's create the surgical guide without checking the checkbox and click Create Surgical Guide. And we could see that the software has created the surgical guide on the original model and has removed the undercuts at the customized path of insertion. Let's go ahead and delete the surgical guide and let's repeat the process with the checkbox create undercut model as byproduct. You could click define insertion direction, update the desired path of insertion, and then click draw curve. Create Surgical Guide. And what we could see here is that the software created the Surgical Guide and we have the original STL model and we have an additional model created by the software that's visible in the Surfaces panel, which is the undercut model. And that is the model with the undercuts removed.